Good morning, you guys. Welcome to this vlog. It's like 11 a.m. It is way too late for me to be eating breakfast, but it has been just like a slow, relaxing morning. It's Saturday and I'm off for the weekend, which feels super great. I'm just having some egg whites, a solo bagel with some cream cheese and monk fruit sweetener and cinnamon, and then some strawberries. And getting ready to head to Trader Joe's to try to find stuff to make an appetizer for my little friends giving get together today. And then also just like pick up a couple of things that I need from the store, eat my breakfast, and if I find anything fun at Trader Joe's, I will do a little haul later. I haven't done one of those in a while. The pets are currently having to face off, but it's going okay. Okay, we're gonna make a little lunch with me while I talk about my projects that I've been working on lately, which is making badge reels. I'm making these cute little badge reels. So that's my exciting news. I opened an Etsy shop. Just go on your badge just like this. Um, clip it to like your scrub top and then you can has like retractable if you need to like scan your badge or anything And I have been wanting to like I used to buy these on Etsy all the time And I really wanted to like learn how to make it myself So I finally just decided to figure out how to do it myself I have a Cricut machine that I use to like create the products um, And I have my Etsy shop officially up and going as of like Three days ago um it was actually a lot more work till like, i get it started than i thought and props to all you etsy girlies out there for taking good photos oh my gosh that was like the hardest part was just getting like a good photo of my product the lighting the backdrops whatever but i finally figured it out i was really really frustrated earlier when i was trying to like edit the pictures that i was putting on my Etsy shop because you guys to be real with you the very first posts that I did of like all my products just looked horrible like I posted them I had them up for a day and I was just like these look awful so once I got that figured out honestly I'm like super proud of it now if you guys do want to check out my Etsy shop I will link it below and I also made a little Instagram for my Etsy shop so go follow me there it's shop Jess Thomas and there's also a link to my Etsy shop in the bio of the Instagram but I'm like so excited that it's all starting to come together and right now I'm just whipping up a little bit of lunch I kind of let the day slip away from me and I really need to go to Trader Joe's still tonight for my friends giving I think I'm gonna get stuff to make like a little brie and pepper jelly situation, crackers. I feel like this year the weather literally came out of nowhere. I swear like a week ago it was sunny and the 60s still and now it was 39 degrees when I woke up this morning. I think it's so funny. Ryan calls this my porridge. It's literally oats that are blended up with jello pudding mix and a little bit of protein powder. Basically like blended oats blended overnight oats i'm not really sure but ryan calls this my porridge because <laughs> there's not really like a good name for it so my camera is about to die but i just wanted to update that i did open my etsy shop i've been working on that all morning and then now i'm about to go to Trader joe's so i'm gonna plug my camera in until i leave so i can take you with me okay i have finally made it out of the house <laughs> It's like 2.30. I'm gonna have to hurry, honestly, now. This is the Summer Fridays hot cocoa. Literally the best. Perfect, like, wintry lip balm. And it's, like, slightly tinted, but I don't know if you can tell. It doesn't really, like, it doesn't look like you're wearing brown lipstick by any means. It's pretty, like, sheer. Started making a list, but, like, I think Trader Joe's will just tell me what I need to get. Honestly, it's been a while since I've even been there. So of course, I need my little midday pick-me-up. Diet Dr. Pepper. Trader Joe's is, like, 20 minutes away from my house. Just kind of, like, a drag to actually go. Like, get in the car and go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally... <laughs> I made a Instagram for my... Etsy shop and I posted like basically all my Etsy listings without realizing that it was linked to my Facebook but that's like so embarrassing I can't believe that that happened I mean whatever people can see that I made them I don't care I'm proud of it I just <laughs> can't believe I had no idea it was posting these to my Facebook I was talking to my dad on the phone and he was like oh yeah like those things that you posted on on Facebook and I was like Facebook I didn't post it on Facebook and yep sure enough uh, it did 
still en route to Trader Joe's. Just got off the phone with my parents and they had to get a new dishwasher, which is really annoying for them. I think they found one. So anyways, um, we'll pick it up. Trader Joe's was a freaking madhouse. So let me just preface this with saying I was in and out as fast as I could humanly possibly get in and out. So I didn't get like a ton of fun stuff, but I will show you what I did get. So for tonight, the little Friendsgiving that I'm going to, I got some pita crackers and I found this really cute little olive wood board that I'm going to give them as like a little hostess gift and then I'll put the brie on it. Oh my gosh. The bags at Trader Joe's are normally like really good, but they literally just, they put my brie at the very bottom and smushed it. But I got the triple cream brie to go on this little board and I also got some pepper jelly to go on top of that. I got some tomatoes for sandwiches, strawberries, blueberries, chicken dog treats for goose, which let's see if he likes these. I got you something. Yeah. I'm try. It takes it so gently because he's like skeptical. Like, what are you feeding me, mom? Some ground turkey breast for tomorrow. Cucumbers for lunch. Some romaine lettuce. And whenever I'm at Trader Joe's, I like to go pick up the cards because their cards are so cute and they're only a dollar. So I like to just keep these on hand. And that's literally everything I got. It was probably one of the fastest Trader Joe's trips I've been on. I'm feeling like really dehydrated for some reason and just like I need a little pick me up. These are my favorite, the citrus salt lemon teas. And so does my husband. He actually is the one that normally orders these. So I'm just gonna make myself a little beverage to sip on while I attempt to get these nails off. <coughs> oh my gosh, powder just got up my nose from that. This is so embarrassing. These nails, don't mind my burn, are literally from my cousin's wedding. I like cannot believe it stayed on this long. The lady at the nail salon, I asked for dip and they refused to give me dip. They said I needed this special type of gel, which she didn't actually tell me what it was called. She like painted something over the top of it and it has stayed for a long time. I'll give her that. But I'm like, ma'am, I don't know how to get this off. Like I don't get my nails done that often. So I'm gonna attempt to soak it off. Updates to come. Just got back from Friendsgiving and Goose is going crazy. We did a little wine exchange. It was super fun. Some of the girls went out for the night and I came back to Goose. Honestly, it's really late. It's almost 11 o'clock because my friend lives about like 45 minutes away from me. So I just got home and let Goose out and now I'm just gonna go to bed probably and pick it up tomorrow. Good morning. We just got done watching Church Online and now I'm about to do a workout. The pets have been exceptionally rambunctious this morning, so it's been already a morning. But just going to do a little workout and take a shower and then pack some orders for my new Etsy shop and work on a few of my little batch reels. Okay, what are you doing? We're cleaning the intake valves. What do I have the to do? The only thing you have to do, you just have to parking hold the- Parking brakes on. Yep, parking brakes on. You just have to hold the gas pedal up to 2,000. Just the number Up to two? the two. Okay. Stay about around the two. For how long? For the whole time. Can I practice? Yeah. Way too high. <laughs> That's gonna give me a calf workout. Oh my gosh, this is hard. It's really not. It's really hard. You need some heat. Thank you. I'm ready. You can hold it at the two? I think so. That's too high. You can't do that. That'll hurt it. This is stressful. It's actually really easy. You just put your heel down on the ground. You need to be closer. That's... <laughs> do you want to spray this stuff? That... Jesse. It's hard. Never mind. I'll find somebody else to do it. <laughs> you come show me how to do okay. it then. I will. See, it's hard. For five minutes, I have to hold it there. I literally just did it in a half a second, people. <sighs> I want you to know that all. Okay, should I get bare feet? Like yes, you're because <laughs> you're, you're, you're wearing your four-inch loafer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Blow it down, dude. I'm asking you to do the simplest thing in the world. Okay, perfect. I'm scared. You cannot go above 3,500. I never have. Okay. This is like the most stressful thing I've ever done. This is getting way harder. You're doing good. 
Why did it get so hard? I don't, because I'm spraying. It was like you were fighting me or something. Okay, not to be like super dramatic, but that was actually really difficult. <laughs> but I'm just working on my little badge reels here. I'll show you. We have a little reindeers and then making some turkeys. And I just made this really cute little gingerbread. This really cute little gingerbread guy. I just need to attach the back part. Good morning, baby. Bailey's. Good morning, sweets. Brian forgot his lunch, so he's coming to pick it up. Good morning. So I'm literally waiting for him by the door. Just got up and have been working on a few little projects and then I'm going to take Goose's groom in a little bit. To do a little workout and he's right here with me actually. Are you being a boy? Are you waiting for dad? Is he coming back? Okay, I dropped off Goose at the groomers, did a little workout. So I thought I would just kind of show you what I do on a Sunday. Today's actually Monday, but basically like the end of my weekend, how I prep getting ready for the week in terms of like laundry, cleaning the house, basically a Sunday reset, but today's Monday. So I just shower and wash my hair. I always try to plan for my hair to be on like a hair wash day on the weekend or my day off if possible. And I'm using the Quick Blowout Redken spray. This literally smells like vanilla. Like I could wear this as a perfume. It smells so good. Brush that through. And then I'm just going to blow dry my hair and probably curl it later, but just at least get it dry for now because it was 37 degrees this morning when I left the house to take Goose to the groomers. And when I was going up over, like I have to go up elevation a little bit to get to the groomers and it starts snowing. So I don't wanna leave my hair wet because I'll freeze. <laughs> to leave the ends a little bit straighter so the way that I curl it is I just clamp it and then wind it up a little bit with like leaving a bunch out and then I just let one little strand out and then curl it up again and then I usually leave like maybe an inch or so at the very bottom and just pull it through so it's like straight at the end that's just how I prefer it. You can also do this and like curl it all the way to the end and it still works. And it honestly doesn't take me that long to curl my hair. Like, obviously I sped this up, but I've only been recording for two and a half minutes. I'm like almost done. Front pieces are always hard. I usually try to separate it by like my layers. So I try to leave out like this shortest layer. So otherwise it gets kind of wonky. With getting the ends to be like lined up at the right spot. And I feel like sometimes I just get lucky. Honestly, it's like different every time I do it. I don't pull through my bangs because it's so short. That actually turned out not bad. And it works pretty good. Okay, we're at six minutes and 30 seconds. I feel like that's really honestly fast. And I just brush it through with my fingers. And honestly, for like day to day, I most of the time don't even use hairspray just because like I don't like the crunchiness. I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare and then go downstairs and make some breakfast. decorate for Christmas. I am so excited. I started to pile up like my Halloween decorations here. So I'm going to first get those all put away and then put the tree up and start getting the Christmas decorations up. Okay, wow. 
wow, I have a lot more Halloween decorations than I thought. I usually decorate in like two waves. So I did fall and then a little bit later I added like the Halloween stuff. But, oh, I missed one. Okay, I actually missed a few. <laughs> I missed my garland also. Someone's all freshly groomed. Oh yeah, we need water. We need water. You ready for Thanksgiving? I was craving pancakes for lunch, so I'm doing some blueberry chocolate chip pancakes. The Kodiak cakes. And then going to put up a tree. Bubba is so pooped out. He's gonna be a good helper. I am filming a get in the holiday spirit with me like Christmas decorating video on my channel. Otherwise, I need to meal prep and get my lunch packed for tomorrow. And I think that's about it for tonight. First, Etsy orders packed and ready to ship. That's such a good boy. Are you ready for bed? You're tired, Bubba. Sweetie. Just made my natural calm magnesium. It's like 9.24 and I need to get into bed. Oh. Nice. Let's go. Come on, Smokey. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog right here. I had to finish it off with some Christmas PJs tonight. I'm just gonna go to sleep and pick it up probably in a new vlog tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Bye. Ooh, and also stay tuned for Vlogmas coming up.